Hello, and I hope I find you all well on this beautiful, sunny June the 1st day. Did you go to church yesterday? I did. In fact, I went to church four times over the weekend as I attended a conference. And I also took part in a couple of devotions like this. All from the comfort of my armchair with a cup of in one hand and my crochet. In fact, I've told Graeme that if I can't take my knitting and crochet back to church, I'm not going. Not really, but I might sneak it in if possible. And it's been wonderful to see all of these devotions that many churches are doing. Services in all different forms, from pre-recorded to live streaming. Some churches are even doing them via Zoom. It means you can't sit in your pyjamas if you do that. There's been the blessing in various different forms. We even have a Darlington blessing now. At Easter, there was spring harvest at home. Last weekend, there was Cliff Festival at home. We've also had the church day out, day in. And then, as I say, this weekend, I attended a conference which was run by the Apostolic Church. And their theme was the new normal. And I'll come to that a little bit later. All these things are wonderful. But for me, there's something missing. Any ideas? Well, for me, it's the fellowship. Sitting in your own front room just isn't the same as being with other people. That time before a service when we first gather and the time afterwards when we share over tea and coffee, that's just as important as the bit in the middle. It's when we get to know people when we get to share the good things and the not so good together. I'm just going to read a short passage from Acts and how they fellowship. It's Acts chapter 2 verses 42 to 47. They devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe and many wonders and miraculous signs were done by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. Selling their possessions and goods they gave to anyone as he had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favour of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. Now, I'm not saying that we have to sell everything we've got. But being together is an important thing. The conference I attended, as I said, was all about the new normal and how we might do things differently in the coming months. I also read an article, which was quite depressing, about the worst case scenario about coming back to church. The fact we might have to queue up, just like we are doing outside supermarkets. That we won't be allowed into the building until five minutes before the service starts. That we'd have to sit in our family bubbles. Now in Lanchester, that would mean I'd have to sit on my own. That masks would have to be worn. There'd be no singing and there'd be no proper communion taken. And also, some churches will have to operate a booking system because their buildings aren't big enough to accommodate everybody at a social distance. It's a very alien and scary situation for us all to be in. And what about any newcomers who might want to explore faith after this rather strange time we're in? And even just coming across the threshold would be alien and scary in normal times. It's certainly not a church I would want to come back to. 
but we are going to have to accept that church is going to be different. But how can we make those differences positive for everybody? Non-scary, that will accommodate everybody, new and old. We need to think about how we can meet people's needs. Just like in that passage in Acts, they met people's needs, not their wants. So my challenge, again, is for you to make a couple of lists. One, listing what you need from the church. And another one listing what you want from the church. And I imagine there will be a difference. Let's pray. Lord, as we go through this difficult time, this strange time of limbo in some ways, help us to understand what we need from church when we come back once more in the next few months. Help us to take our lead from you, Lord, and from the early church in Acts. Help us to be a church that fulfills people's needs, both inside and outside of the church. Amen. Enjoy the sunshine and stay safe.